We'll see you soon. Two restaurants in Brownsville each rack up to merits in the 50s. It's so high that one owner is offering up an apology to all Food Patrol fans. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. Rutledge Hamburger Stand on 1126 East Washington in Brownsville voluntarily shut down to clean up after the health department discovered an enormous amount of demerits. <laughs> 53 turned up on an inspection last month. Not on the menu? <coughs> roaches! <laughs> Just take a look at these inspector picks. Some of the roaches are right next to food, but that's not all. <coughs> Rodent poop is also in the kitchen. The inspector snaps picks of the droppings in multiple areas. <coughs> Other photo evidence is taken by the city to document cross-contamination concerns, uncovered raw meats, no hairnet use, along with other public health problems. A reinspection show 31 demerits remain before the new year, but the repeat low performer restaurant is back open for business. No one is available to speak with the food patrol. Lotus Cafe number two on 2489 Boca Chica Boulevard in Brownsville racked up high demerits too. Right before the end of the year, owner Pete Yao sums up his restaurant's worst score in nearly three decades in one word. Shut. Shocked, he says, with 52 demerits in all. Not on the menu, more than 15 health code violations. But it's more than just mold on lemons. <laughs> Check out these inspector photos. Lotus Cafe's owner says he's corrected most of the problems and had staff retrained. Mr. Yao is also making this public apology. We are apology for this type of the matter because the, we've been serving our community more than 28 years already. Then uh, most of the customers uh, trust us. <laughs> A worker at the Moonlight Cafe on 3911 South Business 281 in Edinburgh admits the violations discovered on a city checkup aren't good. <laughs> 27 demerits popped up at the end of December. Not on the menu. An off-temperature prep unit. Food stored in open containers without labels. Chicken and beef thawing in the same sink. That's a cross-contamination no-no. A walk-in cooler in need of quote-unquote detailed cleaning. And products stored on the floor in the cooler and freezer. David Garza tells the Food Patrol over the phone how staff is making changes, adding how the kitchen is better organized and clean now. The cashier also says everyone will try a little harder. Chuck E. Cheese on 2815 West Expressway 83 in Harlingen is a 2014 Top Performer sticker winner that's off to a great start in the new year. Manager Servando Oriega shares how parents love to take their children to eat where they know the kitchen's clean. That bodes well for him. The restaurant earned a sticker for the new year. Actually, me a lot. I mean, I mean, I've seen this ones on Logan's and stuff, but not all the places have them though. So I mean, that's a good thing for us. You know what the Food Patrol says to that? Keep, Keep it clean. clean. Congratulations tonight. We've got some more top performer sticker winners in McAllen, Takari El Zarape in Palmview, Gabby's in Subway and Alamo. It's the churches. Harlingen's got a couple more: Whataburger, Applebee's, Luby's, and Cinemark. You know, they got a great little cat kitchen there, a little cafeteria. Donna Subway, Brownsville Subway, Marcello's Tacos and Popeyes, and Edinburgh Wingstop. You're all getting a sticker. Remember, kitchens, though, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. As always, Food Patrol fans, you have a place to share your restaurant experiences with others by turning to my Facebook page or Twitter to find me. It's easy. Just search Ryan Wolf.